right, what's going on, boys and girls? So this particular video, as the title above, kind of says it all. Am I switching from Arch to Pop OS? And the answer is kind of yes and no. See, really what it boils down to for me is it, I view Linux machines kind of in that Unix mentality. Function. You have one function, do it fucking well. Well, the particular machine that I'm using right now for this recording is a Lenovo Legion. And it's a it's a i7 8750 16 gigs of RAM a 512 NVMe terabyte HDD uh, Nvidia 1060 not super like impressive as far as current specs but it does everything I need it to hardware wise and for a while the software was perfectly fine and it was arch and it was running great graphics suite everything just worked so about a, two weeks ago. A little longer probably i ran into some snafus with a firmware update that got pulled down because the version of arch that i use is called salient os and i generically use that because it's a pretty much ready out of the box distro for me to use and it's arch it has you know yay install there's just a lot of perks to using it well whatever firmware lenovo decided to pull down ended up breaking the sound card so I had to go into Windows and pull in all the firmware updates from that in order to get the sound card to work again. Then I nuked and paved Windows back off it and reinstalled Salient OS. However, what ended up happening is that whatever reason, and you know, I've tried a, three or four different ways to fix the graphics card issues now that I'm having. So what was happening was you would get kind of, it was more of an annoyance. It wasn't really a big deal it was SDDM we just give you a blank screen. There's no cursor, no nothing. You would have to literally just type in your password and hit enter and it would boot to the desktop. Well, that's not that big of a deal. It's kind of a fucking annoying though. Um, and I'm one of these that my machines go on and off a lot. Like I shut them down when I'm not using them. So for me, it was just, it was an inconvenience. So I was like, okay, screw it. We'll try auto login and see, you know, if that fixes it. Nope, didn't fix it. Um, you know, people will tell you, uh, well, blacklist the driver, the certain drivers and stuff. That was the point. It wouldn't work. I had, I had gone through the GUI portion of installing, I believe it is Optus Manager QT, told it to only use NVIDIA, to boot into NVIDIA, everything, no mode set, all the stuff that you would generically do with a NVIDIA dual GPU. It just wouldn't work. And this is after a week of me spending time resetting up the machine, software wise, um, you know, re jigging all the software to kind of make it work for my workflow. Enable that auto login, big black screen of nothing. You can't even log in. You get a big black screen of nothing, no blinking cursor. And you know, this is a production machine and I'm generically fine with nuking and paving stuff, like whatever. I've gotten to the point now with my tech that I love distro hopping. I love trying out weird uh, esoteric distros. The problem is when it comes to production stuff, I need it to work. Salient for over a year was doing just that. Then I ran into some issues and this is not how Salient is not the first distro I've run into with issues with this. Um, about two years ago, give or take, I was running Manjaro perfectly fine and it ended up bricking the, the in-bank support in the, the GPU that I had for some weird ass reason. I jumped distros and I went to salient because that was the one distro that everything just worked. And I was perfectly content with that. For those that don't know, salient OS is a plasma bit. Sorry. The version I use is the plasma edition of salient. I'm just a more of a plasma guy because I can customize it to how my weird quirky workflows work. Um, I spent way too long on unity. So a lot of my workflow quirks now follow into that category. Well, so switching to pop OS, I'm not only un changing the underlying OS, which uh, Deb, you know, Pac-Man, whatever. The, the, to me, after a while, the, the entire package debate really doesn't fucking matter. If I can still get the packages and apps, I really don't fucking care if it's Zipper, Yay, uh, Pac-Man, AUR, uh, PPA, flat pack app, app image snap whatever who cares it's the apps that matter in this particular case so what i needed to do is i needed an os that would work but i'm not a gnome guy sorry gnome 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 nom nom for those that 
don't get it. I don't care about the enunciation. That's just the thing. What it boils down to is the only one that I've found that had the, the built-in graphics switching was Pop! OS because I have the Intel and the NVIDIA G GPUs. So I needed the graphics switching out of the box. The problem I run into is GNOME as a project, like for me to use. Pop! OS does a lot of things that I like. The tiling, a lot of that stuff is great. There are certain things in GNOME that just kind of, from my workflow perspective for me, because I'm used to a different workflow, and this is me having to, there's a certain level of having to adapt and a certain level of, okay, the desktop's getting in the way. GNOME for me, a lot of the times gets in the way, but I want to make it clear that there are some really cool features and functions in GNOME and in the extensions that I use to actually have to use it. So my thing with GNOME, you will see that this does not look like a typical GNOME setup. So normally, first off, the clock thing over here is usually dead nut center, not a fan. System monitor is kind of a thing that I prefer to have just at a glance to see what my system looks like. So this particular one right here allows me to move the freaking clock and crap over here out of the way. Totally fine with that. I have game mode, which because, you know, video games are kind of my thing. And that's really the only tweaking on the panel that I do. I did have, I think it was translucent shell, but that was causing some issues. Again, probably a NVIDIA thing. Totally get it. So I'm not, not crapping on, on the extensions. But like, okay, so we'll go to the activities thing. So yes, you see that currently. Show applications is usually down here. Because I'm from Unity and because I set up Plasma like Unity, I'm used to the thing up here or close to up here. So the fact that I have to have an extension to make it go from down here to up here instead of just dragging the damn thing like I can with all these stupid other fucking apps is really annoying for me. Again, workflow. This is very specific to me. So then you got that and, you know, whatever. The other thing that I ended up having to do. So then there's this... Uh, this particular one, which is called Files View. Now this essentially integrates Nautilus into the Overview menu, which this is really cool because this is all keyboard heavy stuff. So you can move and tweak files and all that kind of stuff in different ways. There's just a bunch of different ways that you can tweak and move stuff around in that. That is really cool. I will actually like that. That was something that I wish Unity had done and they had tried, kind of sort of gotten to there, but not really. But if you actually look at my extensions list, uh, apps on top, I have the the kind of the cover flow switcher instead. Game mode, removable drives. Now here's the thing. If I go and I go to files and I go into here and then I have to go into here to mount the stupid thing, that is uber annoying. The fact that I can basically keep it mounted or unmounted and it's right there, that's a that's a lifesaver, that's a time saver for me. So I wanted to also state though that I really do actually really like the overview, the overview of GNOME, the, the, the activities, workflow, I actually like kind of the, the dynamicness of panels and all that kind of stuff, that stuff I really like. Um, the search is actually fairly quick. Um, as you can tell, I have like Cinelira, Lollipop. The, there are a lot of things that I do like in this particular aspect of GNOME. For me, the switch to in Ubuntu base, uh, a Debian base, whatever you want to call it, has been not that big of a deal. It's more the pointy clicky interface portion that is the biggest hurdle. And some of that is me. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to make it sound like I'm crapping all over GNOME. Um, Pop! OS does do a lot of things that I wish other distros did. Um, you know, like I said, the graphics switcher is being enabled. The power saving, you know, right here. All this stuff, you can, you know, your power settings, yada, yada. All that stuff is great. Uh, then if you want the tiling, it's just a simple, simple click and you're done. So as an example, anybody who's used Cinelira knows it's a like four pane system. There you go, Cinelira. <laughs> um, so for me, it really just boils down to 
a really nice OS that for me it takes some reacclimation to get into the mindset of its own workflow. Plasma doesn't get in my way. It lets me configure it so it gets out of my way. Gnome, I have to configure with somebody else's extensions to get it out of the way. And one other thing I will state, this fucking panel up here, if it doesn't have applets, indicators, you know, whatever the hell they're calling it at this time, this is about as useful as the panel that was in Unity. If I want, it is a, a giant black bar of nothingness. Let me auto hide the motherfucker. Anyway, I'm just, that's a complaint of like built in stuff. So is Pop OS as a from coming from an arch perspective or as an arch user that hard to get to No, because I can get all the fucking applications I need to. The only one that was kind of pain in the ass was actually Cinelira and that required some clarification on their, uh, instructions on installing. That's a, a Cinelira issue, not a, not a Pop OS issue. The only other thing I really don't care for and I've never been a real big fan of is um, the Pop Shop is actually looks better than the GNOME one generically. I like this. This coincides with this. The categories down here are just not categories with giant white splotch of you know, audio, video, that kind of stuff. These are actually blocks of text and pictures and stuff that make it look good. So props to that. Um, another thing I like is the integration of uh, flat packs or flat hub into the pop shop. Snap D is one that you have to install, which no big deal. Hey, look at that. You know, I'm like mint. So for me, it's not a hard, it's not a hard transition. The only hard transition is the actual interface that I'm using and I'm getting reacclimated to that again. And some of that's a, that's, that's a me thing not a this is trash thing i always find it interesting when people who oh i can't use this this is garbage how much are you really trying because i'm actually really trying and this is on a production machine as you can tell i'm doing content on this machine so pop os uh from an arch perspective or jumping back into like a debian based you know ubuntu based distros from coming from arch and aur and all the other fun stuff that's with arch this isn't that hard to get into I guess it's not, by the way, I run Arch. It's, by the way, I run Pop! OS.